Good afternoon. My name is Yvette Kali, and I am the founder of Jamaica Ambassador Programs. Today, I would like to talk about dreams. Dreams um, is just one of my favorite topics because a dream allows you to connect to a realm that is beyond your reality. Now, that might seem a little spooky for some, a little, uh, they say, sci-fi or whatever, but a dream is a blueprint or it can be a blueprint of a life of an existence that is greater than the one that we presently occupy. Now, I'm not saying that your present existence is to be minimized or that it is not significant, but we are great beings and there is yet more even though we have made such a remarkable progress in life there is so much more that we need to conquer there is more to be explored and dreams is a path to be able to move from our present realities to that realization therefore uh, to me a dream is a blueprint of a potential manifestation. So what is what is what are your dreams? I hope that everyone has dreams and not just a dream but many dreams, living a life of uh, evolving dreams of dreaming and working towards its realization and then dreaming some more and being able to inspire others to dream. Now, there is a definition and I love, I have a very strong relationship with um, the dictionary. <clears throat> I look up many words that I already know the meaning to but I really just love the look in the dictionary. So, the definition I found, it says, Dreams are mental images, thoughts, and emotions occurring, occurring in certain stages of dreams. A dream is a hope or inspiration. As the founder of Jamaica Ambassador Programs, you um, probably know that we're currently focusing on the community of Flower Hill. Flower Hill in the parish of St. James, Jamaica. And um, this dream or this vision was conceived in September 2010 when I made just a visit to the area to visit my father. It's not that I've never visited the area since I left over 30 years ago, but I just, it, I don't believe it was a part of destiny at that time for what it is that I am currently doing. But in 2010, when I went to Flower Hill, I was just devastated. Um, a burden was birthed within my soul about the life of the residents. There was just absolutely no progress and none of the responses to my questions satisfied me. Therefore, it wasn't until I heard as if the voice of God said to me, Yvette, what are you going to do about how you feel? And once I realized that there was something to be done, that there was something I could do, that was when the dream um, was birthed in my soul. So my dream for Flower Hill is that one day this beautiful community that is nestled high into the mountains overlooking the north coast will not just be a place of natural beauty, cool breeze, and a magnificent view of the ocean and some of the elite that lives below us. But I have a dream that this town will have a unified community leaders who are committed to the prosperity of all who lives in Flower Hill. I have a dream that all the young people will be steadfast in the necessary efforts that it will take for them to achieve their full potential. 
for the evidence of their dreams to be fulfilled in a tangible or intangible manifestations. I have a dream that the residents will have viable and sustainable resources to live far above poverty. I have a dream that one day Flower Hill will be a prosperous community that houses its own police station, post office, library, community center, good roads within the community, parks, playgrounds, grocery store, and even a few restaurants. And even one little dream that I had when I was there, can there be some signs to say the road that I lived on? There's just no street signs. Something as simple as that. I mean, if you ask me, I would be willing to get some signs put up there because I don't think that is so difficult at all. But so you have a dream. What do you do with this dream? It's just not enough to have all these dreams, have your head filled with dreams. But I believe that you have to, if you're passionate enough about it and you believe in it, that you should pursue it. So not only do I have this dream, but I have faith in God that with his help, with your help, with partnership of love for each other, for humanity, this dream will be a reality. I do believe that if we, if we all have the same belief in the greater humanity, believing in more than just what is good for me, but the greater good for me, for you, for us, and not even just for Flower Hill, but of humanity in general, that God in his infinite power of love will have no choice, no hesitation, but to bless us beyond measure. So while I have dreams, while I believe, but as you know, the Bible says that um, faith without works is dead. So in order to bring forth the manifestation of this dream, we have to put sweat equity. We have to move with persistency. We have to move in the spirit of defiance against obstructions and adversities. We have to move with the power of works with our faith. We have to move in the spirit of oneness with the divine one saying to the mountains, be thou removed. So I say to poverty, to illiteracy, to divisions, to ignorance, to confusion, to hopelessness, this is a new day. This is the day that the Lord has made. We are rejoicing because he is our present help, not just of yesterday, but today. He told us with him all things are possible if we believe. So this is the new day. We will believe without doubt. We will work while we can with one mind, and that is for the good of humanity, starting right here and right now. We encourage decisions that will make it better, not just for one, but for humanity. We encourage forward movement, not accepting failure as the final answer, but forward movement built on faith that moves mountains. I have a dream, I have faith, I have hope, I have love in the power of humanity to stick together as one, serving each other for the greater good. I know this dream of faith and hope will create the manifestation of this prosperous community. Let us be relentless and unstoppable, full of faith, always abounding in good works for humanity. So as I close, let me not be selfish, but let me ask you again, what is your dream? Do you dare to dream? Do you dare to believe in your dreams and to pursue them no matter what it looks like? Let me inspire you. Dream that dream and let it be bigger than you are. Let me encourage you to believe in your dreams and to commit 
to doing all you can to make it a reality. And therefore, not that it needs a title, but this is my dream of faith, hope, and love for humanity. You are blessed to be on measure, and you're blessed not to be selfish, but blessed to be a blessing. Thank you for listening, and have a super fantastic day. This is Yvette Kali representing Jamaica Ambassador Programs.